Breaking news tonight, just minutes ago, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation releasing this body camera video. It shows the moment Brianna Greer was taken into custody in Hancock County and later fell out of a moving patrol car. According to her family's attorney, Brianna Greer was in the middle of a mental health crisis when her family called 911, and they say their daughter had been diagnosed with schizophrenia and they had often called for help. But this time it was a whole lot different, Jennifer. The family says instead of an ambulance being called, deputies showed up on July 14th and almost immediately put Greer in handcuffs, struggling, struggling to put her in the back of the patrol car, as you can see. And you can see the 28-year-old lying on the ground as the deputies try to pick her up. At one point, she threatens to kill herself. Eventually, deputies get Greer in the back of that cruiser, and the GBI says they thought they close the car door. About 30 seconds later, after the deputies drive off, you can see the vehicles, both vehicles stop, they both get out, and the GBI says the car door never actually closed on Greer, who was not secured by a seatbelt, fell out of that open door, still in her handcuffs. Brianna, Brianna, come on, this is Deputy Prime, come on. I ain't got no in car, no water, no Don't worry about it, she where Greer was still breathing at this point, but seriously injured. She was in a coma for days at Grady Hospital here in Atlanta before she eventually died. Now, earlier this week, Attorney Ben Crump announced that they would be representing the Greer family as this investigation continues to unfold. He says that they plan to perform an independent autopsy once her body is released from the GBI. And at this very moment, our web team is putting together that entire, that full nine-minute body cam video online, which is a key piece of this investigation.